What's up, you guys? A bitch cracked her motherfucking screen, nigga. Yeah, I don't know how my heart feels. Hold on, let me get my life together. I'll be right back. Okay. I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm all right now. But um, let me get into today's festivities, nigga. Um, it's Thursday, you know. If your kids go to school in the Merlins, in the Merlins, bitch. Everybody out of school now in the DC in the Merlin areas. I don't know about VA. I don't know nothing about VA. Anyway. Today, the first day of summer camp. I don't know if I'm the only one that has a child that's just picky as shit. Like, don't want to eat fucking shit. Don't want to cooperate. Don't want to eat no vegetables. Like, today, they had yogurt and granola. Why? Why? And my son, his breakfast will fuck up his whole day. If you try to feed him some shit he don't like, that will fuck up his whole day fucking day bitch i mean it's just this year nothing okay bitch i'm I, oh, I hope i don't get a call later jesus anyway let me have positive thoughts and center myself okay and be at one with the universe because i ain't got time for no fuck shit today i need my son to be on his best behavior he better not let no yogurt fuck up his goddamn day so let me focus and have positive thoughts that brings on the topic of the real conversation i was talking to my friend dante yesterday Nigga, you know what that face is about. Your ass was hilarious last night. But anyway, this motherfucker, we on the phone. We was talking about XX Tentacion, Tupac, and Biggie. And how they always talk about death so much where they damn near manifested their fucking death. Like, they talk that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Like, one of the commenters on, on one of my posts on Instagram that said, um... Like, don't reference XX Tentacion in the level of Tupac. I'm not referencing them in the level of Tupac. I'm just talking about they manifested they fucking death. They talked about I ain't saying that little nigga like Tupac at all. I'm just saying if them niggas talk about death all of the time and they fucking talk up their death. And that's why I keep telling people, listen to me. Your mind is a powerful thing. Your mind and, and center your thoughts. Try to focus on what you're thinking about. If you're constantly thinking about negative shit all the fucking time, you're doing nothing but manifesting that shit into the existence. Art imitates life. You understand what I'm saying? That's why when I used to write my poetry, a lot of people back in um, high school and shit like that, I used to like battle rap and like write poetry all the time and shit like that. And I noticed a lot of shit, I used to just like tell a lot of stories and shit in my writing, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of shit would end up coming true, like, I'm just like, yo, that was eerie as shit. So I like started to be careful the type of shit that I was writing down in my notebook because that shit was starting to happen, nigga. That's why I really, really try to be careful of the things that come out of my mouth and my thoughts because a few times I've said about a few of my friends, like, if anybody died in the neighborhood, the only person I would give a fuck that I would cry about is this person. And a couple of weeks later, that person died. You know? You know, some, like, really eerie shit has just happened to me before. I've had people pass, and I felt them leave, and I won't... It's, anyway. So, I try to really, really, really be careful of just... When you know your power, and you know manifestation and you understand that shit you are very very conscious of your thoughts the things you say out of your mouth the things you write down and the things that you do because that shit can really really happen and that shit is scary y'all very scary if you constantly think about being broke you are constantly always thinking about how broke you are you're going to stay broke you're going to constantly manifest that type of energy into your life that constant feeling of you being broke because that's all you're thinking about that's all you're centering into your life if you're always thinking about my man is probably cheating 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 you're going to manifest that shit into your fucking life you understand what i'm saying you're going to manifest it please be careful you guys i try to like I, my ex-boyfriend his ass used to always just be kind of pessimistic like always dwelling on negative shit what other motherfuckers was doing what other people was getting other than him and da 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 
you that you're going to keep continuing yourself in that space because that's all you're only you, you you're not seeing anything past that you understand what i'm saying you need to think about how you're going to be greater like the things that you want in your life make a vision board think of the things you want by certain motherfuckers is just miserable because that's the only thing they think about and center their whole world about is how unhappy they are because of the things that they don't have you're never going to get it because you're not focusing your mind on trying to get it you're focusing your mind on how upset you are about what you don't have you understand what i'm saying and people like tupac xx tentacion and biggie when they got to a certain part in their life where they were going through whatever the depression is things when you get to the point where you're just like i'm ready to die and this this and that and i gotta work this hard because if i die and this this is this, that these niggas manifest that shit And it's sad that, you know, now XX Tentacion is really seeing how loved that he is because the fact that he's dead now, but he's seeing that shit from heaven. He can't he can't touch those fruits no more. It's sad. I didn't really follow like I said, I didn't really follow XX Tentacion like that. I really don't know the boy's music like that. I know a few songs of him. And the one song that I really, really like, he's talking about death in it, but the Joan Rock, you know, that 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 little nigga had some talent though i did like the few songs of his that i heard yeah you know? it's just really really sad but please y'all be careful of your goddamn thoughts y'all be careful be careful of what you're thinking okay anyway i guess that is um my bit today and i nigga i had something else to say <gasps> my, my screen is broke Right, I'm going to manifest a fixed right screen. Two, hold on, what else I want to, hold on, come on. I need to get into my chakras, hold on. Hold on, I'm talking like I really know. What the fuck? I, I be listening to my best friend Tiffany. Hey Goldie, how you doing? But I be listening to my friend, I be thinking I know what I'm talking about. Bitch, I know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to get into some type of chakras or something. I'm a man, look bitch, I'm a manifest. Some goddamn lighting, microphones, what else I need? A camcorder. I backdrop, a back a back a backdrop, so I can do my shit, bitch. I'm about to get this shit, shit pop and shit. Okay. Oh, that ain't even going to the beat. Yes. Okay. Anyway, y'all have a good day.